Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for um, middle of November 2021. Um, we're going to see uh, what comes up for you here, Aquarius. So uh, let's just jump right in here. We're going to do a regular um, Celtic cross type of spread here, Aquarius. And uh, that will be that. But uh, let me just move this actually. And sorry, I have to make sure that this is in the right spot. But uh, you start off with the Ace of Wands here, uh, Aquarius, which is very interesting here in your middle position. You also have the uh, Ace of Cups here and the Chariot. Uh, definitely a good reading, I would say. I feel like you're heading towards some sort of victory here, but we're going to have to kind of look into this. Uh, here in your first position, you have the Ace of Wands here. It's like a new beginning or kind of like a you know something new starting here for you. Uh, with this energy. Uh, so I do feel like there's a new beginning. Something's like pulling you in. I get more like, like I feel like this is like a, a tractor beam, like from a UFO. It's like trying to beam you up. I feel like something is more, it feels different than typical Ace of Wands energy is what I'm trying to say. Um, you know, I feel like this is like something is more drawing you in. It's not so much like, you know, the Ace of Wands, it is a card of inspiration. So I can see how it can be a card of something drawing you in. It's like you are seeing an opportunity as very inspiring. For some of you, uh, this could be in love. For some of you, you have the Hierophant here and the Ace of Cups. I am getting in love um, on the Ace of Cups. Like you are feeling like you are in love or, you know, that there is love available to you. Uh, it could be new love, obviously, with the Ace of Wands. Um, but I kind of feel like something is more drawing you in. And again, if you're, if this is work or business related, it's like there could be like a new idea. Again, usually the Ace of Wands represents like a spark, you know, so something that it sparks the fire inside of you. What's interesting is your crossing energy is the King of Wands. I mean, that's the fire right there. So, um, you know, in a lot of ways, I feel like telling you not to put your own fire out is like the words that are popping into my head with the King of Wands. Um, I feel like this is something that wants to be let out. I feel like this is something that wants to be, like it wants more wood thrown on it, right? <laughs> so I feel like you need to fuel the fire. And I do feel like this King of Wands is more encouraging you to kind of fuel some sort of fire that's inside of you. A lot of this like weird wood imagery going on in my head right now. Ace of Wands, you have the Ten of Wands here as well with the King of Wands that I have here in my hand. I feel like there's this energy of kind of needing to like fan the flames and fuel the fire, not necessarily put it out. Your crossing energy, it can be something that's helping you or hurting you, right? So the crossing energy doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. I don't really feel like it's good or bad. I feel like it's more encouraging energy is what I would say here. I feel like it's more of an energy of like the universe is encouraging you to put more fuel into some sort of fire that you're feeding here, right? In the area of your thoughts, you have this uh, Eight of Cups energy here. I feel like you're f feeling like walking away from something uh, from the past. Probably something that in, in your past position here, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Kind of interesting. We're going to have to see what happens when we clarify. But um, I feel like what you're walking away from, obviously, with the Eight of Cups is something that no longer serves you. But um, probably some, something, now, uh, now I have the hiccups, um, the Eight of Pentacles is like something that you've put a lot of time, effort, and energy into. The Eight of Pentacles is a lot of work. So I do feel like some of you could be walking away from something here. It could be a marriage for some of you uh, that you did put a lot of time, effort, and energy into, but maybe just not working, right? Uh, something just isn't working is the words that I'm getting here on the Eight of Cups. In the area of your foundation, you have the Six of Swords here. Uh, moving on to calmer shores, I feel like you're moving on to uh, bigger and better things in your life with the Six of Swords. It's like you're being guided as well. The guy that's in the back of the boat, he represents a guide. He goes back and forth between the choppy waters. So he represents someone who is able to go back and forth between the choppy waters. I feel like you're being guided away by your guides, like your, you know, your spirit guides, basically. They're guiding you to the towards calmer shores, towards something that is better. In a lot of ways, looking at this reading, I think things are kind of like very obvious or we, like maybe not, um, you know, maybe not right now, but I feel like in the very near future, things are going to be very obvious. Like if something is going to work, I feel like it's just going to work like pretty obviously. If something isn't going to work, I feel like it's not going to work pretty obviously as well. It's almost like I'm seeing some of these other cards here as well including the judgment card, you see that the angel in the tarot, the big angel, represents your higher self. And it's blowing that horn with a flag on it. I feel for a lot, like for a lot of you, I feel like the, the warning signs of situations 
are going to be extremely obvious in the near future. I feel like the, the things that work are going to work, like I said. Uh, in the area of your past and what you are moving away from, you have the Eight of Pentacles. In a lot of ways, this could be a good thing. Eight of Pentacles can represent hard work. And uh, so maybe you're moving away from hard work. And you might be saying, well, I like working hard. But, you know, there's a difference between, like, working hard and, you know, working smarter, right? So I feel like you're kind of, like, moving more towards smart work on things in general. Uh, like, I feel like you're getting more wise as far as your energy usage is concerned. Kind of cheating. I kind of feel like this is true for basically everyone. I feel like people are waking up to their energy use, how much energy they use as a person. And I think people are getting a lot smarter on like where they put their energy, what the results they get back from that energy as well. Even in the area of the near future, we have the Ten of Wands for you, Aquarius. The Ten of Wands is a card carrying a burden, but you know, he is about to reach this village that is off in the distance here. I do feel like some of you could be experiencing burdens, but it's going to lead to you getting to the village. If we even look at this for this uh, second diagonal here in your reading, we go six of swords, which can represent a rite of passage. It can represent going through something that is a burden, but a rite of passage always leads to something better. Going to the Ten of Wands, also a rite of passage, which, by the way, we also have the Hierophant over here. The Hierophant also can represent a rite of passage. The Hierophant's a little different because it represents initiation. We'll talk about that in a minute, but, you know, kind of a rite of passage. And it ends with the Ace of Cups. It's like, by you going through something that you could be going through here, uh, you're going to get to the Ace of Cups, you're, which could be some sort of reward, uh, could be love, could be just your emotions overflowing, could be you being very happy as well. But it's going to require some work, but I feel like you're at the end of the work. Um, sometimes I look at the Ten of Wands energy as more cleaning things up. It's like you've already clearly gone through some sort of process here, right? It's like he has already been on his journey. You know, it's a card of exhaustion. He's exhausted because he's at the end of his journey. So this is like stuff that you've already done. I think you're just kind of in that cleanup stage where it's like if you're, you know, starting a business, it's like you're getting to that point where you're kind of cleaning things up before you launch, right? Uh, if you're going through divorce, it's like you're probably at the end of the divorce is what this is saying to me. Look at this. Even this first diagonal, eight of cups, ten of wands, the judgment card. It's like you're about to receive judgment. <laughs> I mean, pretty, pretty straightforward to me here, Aquarius. I feel like you're getting to the end of a very long journey is what this reading is saying. In the area of the next few months, you have the judgment card. I feel like you're waking up to your true kind of like inner calling here. Again, that angel represents your higher self and it's trying to get your attention, trying to get you to wake up to a new a new opportunity. The judgment kind of represents like a new day dawning. Um, you know, it's kind of like the judgment card comes up after the sun, you know, in the tarot and it kind of represents that you are waking up to new possibilities, new opportunities, new information, new everything. And I feel like that's what you're waking up to. But they're still in their past life. Again, I feel this one foot in, one foot out energy for you, Aquarius. I've been feeling this for, for you for a little while now. Where it's like you could still have one foot in one thing and one foot in the other. I feel like you need to you know, bring your feet together, <laughs> whether it's to this side or to this side. It doesn't really matter. Even your outcome says it doesn't matter what decision you make. And I feel like I've been saying this to you for a long time, that it doesn't matter what choice you make with the chariot. You are always meant to make the decision. I think that, I mean, it's a hard one to wrap your head around. I totally get it. Where, But it's like, I think what people need to realize is we really kind of like can't make a, a wrong decision. If we make a decision, we were always going to make that decision in the first place. <laughs> so, um, you know, I feel like for some of you, this is like saying, um, you know, bring your feet together. Like I said, pull one foot out or, you know, pull one foot out of the coffin. I feel like you're like one foot in, one foot out with the judgment card is what I feel intuitively. Uh, some of you could be holding on to a relationship, um, although I don't really feel that energy. I would say, for the most part, I would say you're going through divorce, but maybe it just needs to be kind of wrapped up here. Uh, for others, it could be like you're in your job and maybe you're thinking about starting a business or doing something on the side, and I feel like you need to get started. In the area of your closest relationships, you have the Hierophant here. Uh, Hierophant could be marriage, so again, if you're looking for love, definitely good for love. Could be meeting someone that you marry. Uh, for others, I feel like this is some sort of initiation. Like I said, kind of a, a rite of passage as well. He has three levels to his crown. He also has three levels to the staff that he is holding. And it represents three stages of initiation. It represents three levels of initiation, whatever you want to call it. And uh, the first level is initiation, being initiated into something. The second level is apprenticeship, where you're like learning from someone else or you're learning from experts. And the last level is mastery. 
And uh, once you pass, you go behind the Hierophant. You, you get to see what is on the other side of those two pillars that are behind him here. So I feel like for a lot of you, it's like I feel like you could be uh, dealing a lot with people in your life. Could be positive and negative experiences, both. And it's like that is probably the apprenticeship from the universe, if you want to take it that way. So if you're having weirdness with people around you and things like that, I would just look at it as a learning experience and realize that these things are going to pass and you're just going to be, you know, gain mastery over your close relationships in general. I do also feel that like learning is going to be very important for you. Uh, I would definitely say, you know, pretty much the entire, there are three kind of signs that I personally believe are going to benefit the most from learning uh, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces, uh, pretty much the last the last three signs there <laughs> of the Zodiac. So um, what I would say is if I were you, uh, the more you learn, the more you earn. And this means, you know, about anything, if you want to improve your health, just um, pick something and learn about it, you will probably greatly increase your health. Obviously, you're gonna have to take action as well. You can't just like look at something, learn about it, and not do anything about it. You're gonna have to do something. But if you do that, uh, it could be very beneficial for you. Uh, next in the area of your future feelings, you have the Ace of Cups here. Remember what I said? I was getting kind of like the energy of being in love here, Aquarius. I feel like some of you, I mean, that, those were the words that popped into my head. I feel like if you're looking for love, really good. Um, just more intuitively, I feel very positive about this. I feel like there could be love coming in for you. If you're not looking for love, I feel like your emotions are overflowing. You're feeling really happy with this um, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is more awake as well. Uh, I mean, mm, <laughs> I mean, what I would say to you, Aquarius, is that just looking at your astrology, you're probably going to feel more awake, more alive, more cl closer towards the end of January. Um, yeah, there's like a lot of things going on, I think, that could make you feel tired, could be making you feel just like, like it's probably harder to get ahead at this time. That doesn't mean you shouldn't try, by the way. It's probably just, you know, seeing results on the things that you're working on, the, the results are probably coming a little bit slower. And... You know, that's what I would say with that Ace of Cups. And so, you know, I feel like you should just realize that. That doesn't mean you shouldn't do anything. It's a great time to learn uh, as well. It's a great time to make mistakes. Um, the other thing I think people need to realize about the astrology for you right now, Aquarius, is like if you're want, yes, yes, results might come slower. But it also makes means that you'll probably make a less mistakes. Be because you're getting results slower, it's like if you're about to make a mistake, you'll probably be able to catch it because like things are slowing down. It's almost like the wavelengths. Like imagine if you were working on something and it was like a wavelength. It's like they're getting stretched out uh, energetically. And that's how I see it in my head. I hope that makes sense. And it's like allowing you more time to catch a mistake before it happens. So it's a good time to work on things, even though things might be coming slower than you realize. The other thing is, is that we have to realize is like, I, I would say that it's more like a, a period of time where you're pulling your bow and arrow back. It's like things might be, ha you might think things are happening slower, but all the work you're doing is just pulling that arrow back farther and farther and farther. So what I would say to you is if you're working on things, I would, even though maybe you're not getting results in work or business um, at this time, or maybe they're just happening slower, I would stack that work up because you're just pulling that arrow back farther and farther and farther. And that's what I would say here. It's like, it's going to release once we get into the new year for you. And uh, I, I think that the bigger you can, the bigger type of release you can create, the better. So uh, don't be afraid to put in extra work even if you're not seeing results like as quickly. You're going to see results. It just may be a little slow. Uh, your outcome is the chariot. Major victory coming in for you. So I feel like there's a victory coming in for you here. And I feel like there's just some sort of win. So I like to see that. I feel like travel. Uh, I do feel like travel would be very beneficial for you if you're traveling for a reason. Or if you're asking about travel. I do feel that there could be a lot of benefits in like traveling, moving, anything like that. Now, let's dig into this and see, like, where this is going here, Aquarius. With the Ace of Wands and the um, King of Wands, you have the Hermit here. So, the Hermit can represent some soul-searching, uh, but also, again, another card of, like, a rite of passage here with the Hermit card. And you have a lot of cards here and just kind of clustered right here that represent a rite of passage or represent going through something. The hermit is standing at the top of a mountain. He's shining his inner light out in front of him. So it kind of represents the fact that he has climbed to the top of a mountain, a rite of passage. And what what do we get at the top of mountains? So the best views, right? So I feel like for a lot of you, it's like this is saying that you're getting ready to, um, you know, get your reward, whatever you want to call it. 
in the area of your thoughts, too much confusion, seven of cups. I was getting this energy, you know, I was kind of like saying that you need to make a decision, right? And that's what I feel for you here. It's like, mm, I get that feeling of like knowing that you're gonna make a certain decision anyway, or like knowing that you want a certain thing in your life, but uh, needing to go for it. So I kind of feel like this whole diagonal right here is like saying your, your higher self knows exactly what you want. You just need to listen. Uh, with the six of swords here, you have the two of wands. Two wands is like waiting for the perfect moment when there never will be a perfect moment. Aquarius, I feel like I say this to you every single reading. Definitely time to take a leap of faith. Uh, with the Ten of Wands, you have the Eight of Pentacles here. Uh, I kind of like this. This is actually pretty good. You have the um, Eight of Pentacles over here in your past position, uh, the, what you are moving away from. Then you have the Ten of Wands and Eight of Pentacles over here. Uh, I kind of feel like you are maybe seeing results based off of work that you have done for a very long period of time. Remember, the Eight of Pentacles in your past is what you're moving away from. So you've put a lot of work into things, you know, working on various things in your life. I don't think it's just one thing. And now you're seeing results. Uh, with the Judgment card, you have the Three of Cups here. Um, celebrations, happiness, good things coming in for you. I think people are encouraging you as well, or at least I feel that you should kind of like listen to the people who are encouraging you. I feel like there are two types of people in your life right now, Aquarius. I feel like there are people who are fearful. I would be careful of the fear side of things. And then I feel like there's encouragement. I think that's I think that's how you can tell the difference between the two people, if that makes sense. These could be family members, friends, lovers, could be anything. I would move towards more towards that encouraging side of things. I know that sounds obvious, but fear is sometimes seductive because, um, you know, sometimes fear can give us an excuse. It's like if we're working on a business, for example, and maybe we're a little bit afraid to do something, um, you know, just in business myself. I mean, I've been afraid of like the most ridiculous things that just are so tiny. <laughs> I was uh, afraid of, you know, doing so many different things, right? It's like once you do it, you get over the fear. Um, and I kind of get that for you here. And I'm not saying it's in business. It could be in business. I think it's in multiple areas of your life. I feel like there are people that are kind of like feeding into the fear, um, mostly because they probably don't want to lose you. And um, I think I feel like they're saying things that are almost kind of like more excuses, if that makes sense, as to like why you shouldn't do something here. And I'd, I'd be very careful of that because I feel like, I, like, again, I don't think they're bad people or anything like that. I feel like they're just coming from a place of fear, wanting to protect you. I'd be careful of that energy. I feel like there are other people who are encouraging you to do things, and those are the people I'd listen to at this time. With the Hierophant, you have the Six of Wands here. Because you will be successful, plain and simple. I mean, you know, that's what I'd say to you here. I mean, Six of Wands makes perfect sense. There are people in the background. Some of those people are envious of this person's success. It's a card of excellence in being success. Like, he's on a horse, right? He's on his high horse here, but in a good way. And he's been successful and victorious, but he's on a horse. He could be moving away <laughs> from people. So again, if there are people in your life who are coming from fear, they probably just don't want to lose you. And uh, maybe you need to draw some boundaries or just ignore it, plain and simple. Uh, or uh, I would also move towards support. With the uh, Ace of Cups, you have the Nine of Wands here. This is your future feelings. The Nine of Wands is a card of experimentation. It's a card of like needing to not give up. It's a card of perseverance. I definitely feel like you should do that. Feel, there is something here about needing to open up and love. Uh, why do I feel like, I feel like it might not be you. Some of you, it could be you, um, but take it how it resonates. Some of you, it's like, I feel like you need to open up to a person in love. For others, I feel like it's more, it's like different. <laughs> that, that sounds so stupid, Aquarius. Um, what I would say here is, it's like, I feel like you need to, some of you, it's like maybe you need to open up to allowing love into your life if you want it. Again, I'm not telling you what to do. If you don't want love, that's perfectly fine. Um, like I've said a million times in the past. So, you know, I think people should do whatever they want for the most part. But if you want it, I would open up. I wouldn't be too closed off with that Nine of Wands energy is what I feel. And with the Chariot, you have the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands really encourages you to move towards your desires. Um, you know, sometimes I feel like we can punish ourselves for things. Nine of Wands, Nine of Wands is a little bit of punishment energy is what I'd say to you, Aquarius. Sometimes with the Nine of Wands, ten, Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands, you know, this is like beating yourself up for something that you probably shouldn't beat yourself up for. I would be careful of those things. I'm getting that in my head right now. It's like I'd be very careful of punishing yourself for things that are out of your control 
And, you know, I would be careful of feeling guilty about things as well. I feel like that could be, it's almost like, I wish I had a good example for you (laughs) here, Aquarius, but it's like, sometimes I think we can be so guilty about something that we stop taking action. We just perseverate. We just think about the thing that we're guilty about and it kind of dominates our thoughts, but doesn't do do anything um, for us. It actually doesn't help at all uh, to do that, right? So I feel like there's a need for you to like move away from guilt or need to move away from like taking responsibility for things. Ten of Wands, right? Ten of Wands, he's taking responsibility for things here. And I'm just going to show you. He is taking responsibility for things here that might not be his responsibility. It might not be his fault. It might not be his, might have nothing to do with him. I feel that for you here, Aquarius, where it's like you could be, there could be certain things or people in your life that are trying to make you feel bad for things, or you might be feeling bad for things just in general that aren't your responsibility. I'd be very careful of that. It's popping into my head. I'd be very careful of that. Nine of Wands really encourages us to move towards desire. Nine of Wands, he says like you might desire to start a business. He says, do it. Go on the journey. You will be successful. Chariot. You will have a victory. Nine of Wands says, maybe there's a person you're really attracted to. And, and that you really want to be with. Another one says, do it. <laughs> you will be happy. Ace of Cups, right? I would I would say like that Nine of Wands, sometimes I feel like the Nine of Wands is like saying, don't be afraid to swing the bat, right? Eventually you're going to have a home run. So I feel like you need to swing the bat there. But a pretty interesting reading. I kind of like it. I kind of like where it's going. I feel like it's heading towards victory. So uh, thank you for being here, Aquarius. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your month.